welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got you covered. Before we get into some NHL action for March 13th, I want to invite you to join so you have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So the NHL season is getting down to the home stretch, and there are several important games. I've headed into the final few weeks for playoff positioning. So let's get started for March the 13th. There's only three games on schedule, so we'll take a look at all three of them. First is Buffalo Sabres and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Buffalo comes in dead status after three straight losses, and they're 1-5 in the last six, while Toronto is average up coming off of a win, and they are 4-2 over their last six games. If you take a look at the over-under, you can see that the two teams have both been under the line in two of the last three games. Uh, Buffalo over in four out of their last six, and Toronto even three and three in their last six as far as the over-under goes. The score predictor has Toronto by a five to three score with a 68% level of confidence in prediction. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Toronto has been pretty steady all year near the top here at plus 27, while Buffalo has been up and down, and they're more on a downward trend at the moment. They're down at two plus nine. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two teams this season, you can see that Buffalo, uh, let's see, Toronto won the first meeting back on November the 19th as a home favorite, and then they also won as a road favorite back on February the 21st. The stability factor, how consistent are the two teams? Uh, the two teams are moderately consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, although Buffalo was more steady um, earlier in the year. Back on December 29th, they're a plus 11, now they're a plus 10. So in the, end, in the end here, I like Toronto. Clearly the better team, Toronto, by a few goals in a game over the line. Colorado and Montreal. Montreal dead stats having lost five of their last six. And Colorado is ice cold down, coming off of a 5-2 to two loss, and they are just 2-4 and four over their last six games. If you take a look at the over-under, though, the, both the teams have been trending in games over the line over their last six. Uh, the score predictor has Colorado by a 4-3 to three score, which would be a game over the line. I believe the line has not yet been set, but I believe that would definitely be an over-the-line final score, with confidence in prediction of about 58%. The power ranks indicator shows Colorado is steady over the last few days at plus 15, and they had dipped from plus 24 back on March the 1st. And you can see Montreal has been on a steady downward trend, and they are down to plus 2. If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two teams this season, uh, they only played one game so far. It was Colorado by 2-1 to one in overtime back on December 21st as a home favorite. The stability factor. Uh, Montreal has been more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats in Colorado has been. Colorado had a high of plus 6 back on December 21st, and they are now plus 5. So throughout the whole season, they haven't been very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. But next, this time, I think they will be. I think Colorado definitely will be a road favorite, and Colorado will win this game in a game going over the line. Dallas and Seattle, this is the best of the three games, I believe, coming into the, to the action. Um, Dallas is on top of the Central Division, and Seattle is third in the Pacific Division. Dallas comes in average up, coming off of a 10-4 win. Yes, that's 10. 10-4 win over Buffalo. And that's hit one four out of their last six, while Seattle is burning hot down coming off of a loss, but they're five and one over their last six. Dallas has been involved in games over the line in the last five. Seattle and five out of the last six. So you would think this would be a game going over the line. And the score prediction uh, has it the other way. Seattle three, Dallas one, with confidence in prediction of 54%. So I'd probably tend to avoid the over under in a scenario like that, but let's take a look at more before we make the final decision. On the power ranks indicator, you can see both teams are nearly deadlocked. Dallas is at plus 25, and Seattle is at plus 26. Head-to-head, -head, the two teams have, uh, let's see, well, they have not yet met this season. The last game was April 23rd of last year. If you look at the stability factor, both teams are pretty stable at plus 10. Uh, Seattle more on an upward trend, while... Dallas was at uh, plus 11 back on January, actually back as early as December 31st, and they're next now at plus 10. So lately over the last few months, not very consistent. In the end, I like Seattle to win this one at home, but I think I would pass on the over-under bet in this one. 
Okay, so there you have it. Those are the games for the NHL for March the 13th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.